My name is Chioma. I'm 16 years old, and the title of this piece is Untitled. I woke up this morning after having a dream and realized that a student dropping out of high school these days is like Martin Luther King never having a dream himself, you see. Even though there's no medical association, this modern day epidemic is still very deadly. I don't know what's worse. People dying every minute or every minute seeing less politicians to guide us, lawyers to defend us, or even doctors to save the lives of these young lives who are trying to stay alive by believing in the lie that anything other than education can provide a better life. You see, I see these students completing four years of high school and college, and I see these same students in handcuffs instead of a diploma cuffed in their hand. Some teenagers go from informative and respectful to unprotected, unemployed, uneducated, able to tell you when the latest shoe is about to come out, but unable to tell you that there are approximately 118 elements on the periodic table, and that the fire escape was invented in 1887 by a woman, so how the hell can't you escape the hell that you are leading yourself towards by restricting yourself the knowledge you need to survive if you had the chance to be somebody why wouldn't you take it? Well, you see, I wouldn't know the answer to that question considering that I forgot the many faces. I lost their phone number and their friendship in four minutes. High school for them was really four months instead of four years. The only thing I knew they did longer than four years was breathe. Not knowing that this would be the last time I would see these faces that I have once bonded with for so long face to face, I was left to face the fact that these faces would be the faces that I would face on Facebook or facing upward in their grave. Yes, I've seen it all. Being born and raised in D.C., but I never got a D and a C. My report cards are like batteries, triple A's, but let me tell you my quadruple list one. I remember being a freshman and having to prove to them that my IQ is twice more than my weight, too. I remember being a sophomore and telling them that even though I'm a four-letter gender with a five-letter stain color, I can still make a six-figure income free. I remember telling those same freshmen that it's better to do something with your life after high school instead of staying back, wasting time, and being high in school for be willing to learn more and make a set of numbers instead of becoming a set of numbers in a system in a country that is already too many numbers in depth. So how can education be the key if they keep slamming the door in my face? You see, I tell them simply that your face was not meant to be behind jail cells but on TV in front of the nation, the same nation that didn't expect you to make it, the same nation that wanted you to fail. So stay in school is my only message to you, and if not because of everything I just said, do it because Rachel did it for Trayvon.